they talk about that, you know, where it's like, there's like that two week gap where you have to get over if your kid's complaining about right. it. And then it's just like, if it's a no, it's a no. What's up guys, welcome to another 5 Minute Fatherhood. So one of the things that we always wanna be really careful of is that when you're designing rhythms, whether they're daily rhythms, weekly rhythms, oftentimes what people, one of the mistakes we tend to make is we just schedule the hard stuff, the stuff that has to get done, the stuff that makes us more productive. And man, that's not what we're about with the seven day rhythms. We want to create our ideal week. And so that means we're balancing things like purpose and play. We're having a lot of fun as a family in ways that really is life-giving for the whole family, as well as getting a lot of stuff done. And so, you know, for us, that that's looked lots of different things in different seasons, different outdoor activities that we're really into. Like last year, we were really into pickleball. We're excited. The weather's just getting nice enough that we're going to start getting back into that again. Um, we do on, you know, our, our reading night on Monday night, our media night on Wednesday night, our Shabbat time where we have nice desserts. I mean, just it's really important to have fun stuff that your family enjoys doing, um, things that you you guys as a family really bond around. And it's just cr- is critical to schedule that stuff in as it is any of the productive stuff. Um, this is much more of a like, you know, like work hard, play hard or work intentionally, play intentionally. Um, play should be have a level of intentionality around it. And so make your make it so that you love your week and each of your kids loves your <clears throat> your week. If you're able to live that ideal week, uh, you can just sense that as you're getting closer and closer to actually living into that seven day rhythm, that your family is just getting is thriving more, enjoying it more. Uh, but Jeff, how do you guys think about how to balance or make sure you're integrating fun uh, into a really purposeful family rhythm? Yeah, I love this one. And I think especially with toddlers, like this is the goal. There's too much research. There's too much data on just like play is actually how you learn. Like it's actually how your brain forms. It's how curiosity, like especially at those younger stages, just like play. Like I was just cracking up. We're super big on like, I mean, we we watch shows and screens and all that, but like we try super hard to not. And so we're, uh, and it's fun once you do get over that hump of just like the kids just like, don't even ask much anymore. And they just go outside. Like you, you know, there's that always that I know a lot of parents, they, uh, they talk about that, you know, where it's like, there's like that two week gap where you have to get over if your kid's complaining about right. it. And then it's just like, if it's a no, it's a no. Um, but yeah, so we're, we've been doing that for years and the kids love it. And that like, even yesterday I was cracking up where like, you know, Kinsley found a beetle, uh, outside and then put that beetle in like her little, uh, uh, PJ mask car. You probably don't know that. Cause you're not, you know, when you're a parent, you're on top of all the shows. Uh, but PJ Masks is like a fit. And, and so she like literally spent like, they spent like an hour, her and Cannon just literally trucking this beetle around in their toy car, like in the driveway. That's and awesome. I'm like, that's like, so unstructured play too. There's two things I'll say here. There's two tracks, really cultivate unstructured play with your kids. And if you do have a lifestyle that has been more conducive to screens or inside or whatever, I just heard a stat yesterday. It's crazy. 93% of our lives is spent inside in an, in an unnatural fake environment. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, and so if you do do that, understand that the, that hump will come. Meaning like if you are going to try to lean into this, then it will like, you have to at least go for it for a couple of weeks till you'll start seeing some fruit. But there's two tracks. There's the unstructured play, which is like cultivate that, try to live in that. It's super healthy, especially for toddlers, just for their curiosity and learning and play and language skills and motor skills, et cetera. And then two, what you're saying is more the intentional vision fam, like vision casting fun, which is more like yeah. inject more holiday like moments into your day and your week. And so whether yeah. it's pool time, whether it's family walk time, whether it's something dumb or fun, you do at dinner, like I'm really sporadic at dinner and I just want to make dinners fun. So I'll just like stand up on the chair and start yelling or something, you know, like I just, I do dumb stuff. Cause it's like, I want them to just remember that this is where fun happens. Yeah. Um, not where like, you know, I'm always saying no, or do this or do that. Um, and so, and so, yeah, so I think just like have those two tracks, pursue both those tracks and it's really important. Awesome. Hey guys. And also want to let you know that every year, uh, family teams takes different families, uh, on a tour to Israel to experience the all the sites and history, but to also talk about the, and really discover the roots of multi-generational family teams and all the different resources and things that you can learn about multi-generational family team uh, through Israel, through sort of Middle Eastern culture, through Jewish history and modern Jewish life. And so we would love to take you guys to Israel. I know things are kind of crazy right now, but man, there's, there's probably going to be, we're going to get some great deals, I think, coming up. 
um, in, the, in the next year or two. And so if you guys are interested in coming with us, you can check that out. Go to familyteams.com, look for the Israel tour. Uh, we got a bunch of people already signed up for January. That's when we like to take people over when the weather's a little bit uh, rougher here. We like to get, head over to Israel. So if you're interested in, in coming with us this January um, or some, some trip in the future, then keep an eye on, uh, on that at familyteams.com.